there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Kolmachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk about content uh, editor performance and uh, give you some tips on uh, how you can improve the load speed and uh, the performance of um, the content editor. So here, as you can see, um, I'm logged into uh, a Psycho instance, and I have content editor open. Now, by default, the content editor tool comes with a lot of features enabled out of the box. It means that it has to do a lot of processing to render all that to the front end. So this is a um, this is a default Sitecore instance, and uh, you know it's loading relatively fast. Uh, it is running locally. Now let's see what the speed is uh, of uh, our request. Let's see how fast it loads now. Um, we're pretty much the default setting here. We have the cache disabled, as you can see here in the top right. Let's refresh the page. And we are at 2.47. Let's do it a few times. Let's see, 2.42, 2.31, 2 2.34. Let's say 2.34. 2.4 right let's 2.4 is probably um, about the average load time here so it's a little above two seconds not too bad but let's see if we can improve it now content editor comes with a few options uh, if you go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and click on application options um, I believe in older cycle versions it's the cycle button um, you got to click on now notice how we have several options here for the content editor uh, tab and then the view tab. So let's go ahead and review. So item title bar. So that is, I believe, this bar at the bottom. So I don't really use it. Let's go ahead and disable it. Field section titles. Mm. I may or may not care for it, but let's let's disable it. Uh, I use the, the bookmark na for field navigation anyway. Uh, fields from the standard template, of course, we don't want it to sh be shown by default, barcoded items. Uh, I don't care about hidden items right now. It is um, just for the sake of the demo. Uh, click info section. So that is the click info section right here at the, the very first section for every item. Uh, let's go ahead and disable it. Why not? Quick action bar on the left, I believe that is, of the content tree. Disable that, search panel, speaks for itself, validation bar, it's the one over on the right. We'll disable that, prefetch collapse sections, no. Uh, content profiling, so this is the content profiling icon here. Disable that. Pages bar, oh, that's the pages bar at the bottom here. Let's see, there's that. View, uh, display name. Item key, so let's see, show the content editor tree, show, show, let's turn off the test lab and personalization sections. Now let's hit OK and let's see what happens. Boom. As you can see, the content editor changed quite a bit. We don't have the quick action bar on the right. The sections are missing, so we have raw content data, right, without the all the sections here, uh, or standard fields. We don't have the validation bar, the profiling is missing. So the item bar at the top is missing as well. So a lot of things are missing now. However, now let's check our page download speed. 1.7. Let's do it again. 1 1.78. 1.74. Let's say 1.75, right? So 1.756 is about the average. So we've just cut our um, page update time, download time in half. So, and this is for default cycle instance, uh, uh, just an empty content tree, right? So imagine um, how much it can perform, uh, improve the content editor performance uh, if we had a large content tree, especially if we're approaching 100 items in each location, right? So we're, especially the prefetch um, uh, sections, 
uh, prefetch the closed trees. So things like that, uh, the validation, validation quick action bar takes a lot of processing. So as you can see, uh, by simply tuning the things that we want to see in our content editor, and you know, I, we don't always use a lot of these features, right? We don't, um, you know, as a content author, you probably don't, may not even care about a lot of these things. As a developer on my local machine, I definitely don't care about a lot of these things, right? But in, uh, uh, in a default site, for instance, we're cutting it in half in a built out site, for instance, might even be more. So there you go. Here's how you can quickly and easily improve your content editor performance. I uh, hope you like this tip. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, give me some likes and comments below. And for more tips like this, check out tmsbestpractices.com and I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.